Do we allow God to reign in our hearts? Happy World Mission Sunday! I am Sister Didi Alarcon of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. The Pharisees went and plotted to entrap him in what he said. So they sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and teach the way of God in accordance with truth and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality. Tell us then what you think. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, Why are you putting me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the tax. And they brought him a denarius. Then he said to them, Whose head is this and whose title? They answered, The emperor's. Then he said to them, Give therefore to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. The Herodians and the disciples of the Pharisees think that either way Jesus answers their question, he is bound to trip and fall. If his answer is pro-Rome, he will be regarded as a traitor to the cause of Israel. And if his answer is anti-Rome, he can be charged with sedition. They are overcome with amazement at the incontestable wisdom of his answer. It is neither pro-Rome nor anti-Rome, but absolutely pro-God. All things belong to God, including the authority exercised by foreign rulers, whom God uses as instruments for the accomplishment of the divine purposes. The first reading about Cyrus of Persia, who is identified as God's anointed, drives home this point. Jesus did not come to topple down existing power structures, as though this can stand as rivals to God. Instead, he came to establish the rule of God in human hearts, so that regardless of who rules the land, believers will know to whom their absolute allegiance belongs. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, help us to surrender to God in all matters, for God alone has absolute claim on our loyalty. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. 